Hamiltonian cycle. So using backtracking, what do you mean by Hamiltonian cycle? Hamiltonian cycle is a round trip path in a given graph where each vertex is visited only once and with n edges. So all vertex are visited only once. It's a round trip path with n edges and n vertices. And we don't have an article uh, Hamiltonian cycle if the graph is having articulation point or curve vertex. So let us see with an example. Let us say graph, this graph and generate a Hamiltonian cycle for this. So let us start from 1 using backtracking. So 1 to 2 we will visit, okay. Then from 2 to 3 we will visit. So before traveling from one vertex to another vertex, we have to check whether there is a edge or not. So 1 to 2 there is an edge, 2 to 3 there is an edge, then 3 to 4 there is an edge, then 4 to 5 there is an edge, then 5 to 6 there is an edge, then 6 to 7 there is an edge, and 7 to 8 there is an edge. But now the Hamiltonian cycle will complete when it reaches to the starting point. So except the starting vertex, remaining all the vertex are visited only once. So from 8 to 1, we don't have a edge. That means what? We cannot complete the Hamiltonian cycle. Then what we have to do? We have to go back, backtrack. Right? So instead of 7 to 8, do you have any other alternative? No. Once again, backtrack. Instead of traveling from 6 to 7, 6 to 8 and 8 to 7, then 7 to 1 you can go. But we don't have an edge from 6 to 8. Once again, we have to backtrack. Okay. Then, can we travel from 5 to 7 or 5 to 8 or other than 6? No. Then, once again, backtrack. Do we have an edge from 4 to remaining edges? Advertises? No. Once again, backtrack. Once again, backtrack. Yeah, of course, here we do. We have an edge from 3 to 6. But, from 6, once again, we will go to 5 and 4. We don't have an edge to 7. So we will backtrack here. Right? Then we will backtrack. That means what? Now you please observe. Now we have another option. Instead of traveling from 1 to 2, we will travel 1 to 3. Okay? Then from 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7. Now observe this carefully. 7 to 8 and 8 to 2 and 2 to 1. Now you observe, this is a complete Hamiltonian cycle. So 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 1. So this is a simple example for Hamiltonian cycle. Let us write an algorithm to generate this Hamiltonian cycle. So for a given graph, there may be many more than one Hamiltonian cycles, of course. Okay, But this is one of the examples. Now let us write an algorithm to generate Hamiltonian cycle. So in this algorithm, we have two steps, that means two algorithms, algorithm Hamiltonian and algorithm next value, okay. So let us write an algorithm, okay, right, yeah. So in the algorithm, what we do is, in Hamiltonian, we will call next value, okay, and the next value we will check all the work what we have done in the example. Now let us start writing with an example right now what do you mean by algorithm hamiltonian so it is almost similar to graph coloring problem but little some extra steps are there now let us write here repeat until repeat until false repeat until false so first what you have to do you have to generate next to value that means what you have to. So we are calling first algorithm Hamiltonian of k. We are writing an infinite loop. Then we are writing next value algorithm. The next value will decide which is the next vertex to visit from the starting vertex. Are we clear? So what we do? So algorithm next value. Then what we do? We will check did we found the next vertex or not. If we don't form the next vertex, what will happen? If x of k is equals to 0, that means what? We didn't get any vertex to visit. That means what? Backtrack. Right? So if this condition is true, then 
we will say what back track that is return are we clear so this is a step to generate the next vertex and this step we are checking did we found any vertex if we don't found any vertex the return value will be zero back track assume that we got a vertex then what we have to do we have to check did we completed all the other vertices if k double equal to k equal to n means what we have completed the last vertex to visit okay if we completed last vertex to visit what we do we simply write the solution which is the x vector which will give you the solution okay that we will print so if k is equal to n means what we have completed the solution otherwise what we have to do we have to call the next vertex that is else ah uh, hamiltonian hamiltonian of k okay so this finishes our basic hamiltonian algorithm right now let us write the next value algorithm okay so in the next value algorithm also we'll do what so this algorithm is taking simple steps algorithm hamiltonian generate the next vertex next value check whether we did we get the answer or not if it is zero backtrack check all the vertices are completed then print the solution otherwise call the next vertex are we clear so the next vertex is what k plus 1 right so here we have to write algorithm hamilton k plus 1 okay so please make sure after generating for k you have to call k plus 1 now let us write algorithm next value so algorithm next value what we do repeat until okay so repeat until false okay so repeat until false what we do first generate a next vertex so for generating a next vertex we will simply use ah uh, x of k is equal to x of k plus 1 mod n plus 1 so this is a simple step to generate the next vertex example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then after 8 once again we have to go back to 0 to form the round trip path we use a simple step so then what we do generate the next vertex then we have to check did we got the next vertex okay so what we do if x of k is equals to 0 means what the all the vertices we have tried we are unable to generate the next vertex then what you have to do we have to go back back track right assume that we got some vertex then what we have to check before traveling to the next vertex we have to check is there any edge or not so always the answer is generated for i'm stored in where the x vector so the answer is stored in where x vector so we have to write we have to check whether there is an edge bit from k to k minus 1 or not or k to k plus 1 or not so how to check this so simply we will write if g of uh, g of x of k minus 1 comma x of k are we clear so if this not equals to 0 that means what assume that we have written in the previous example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right we have written 1 3 4 5 like that so when you are writing the next vertex 6 you have to check whether do we have an edge between 5 and 6 or not when you are writing next vertex 7 you have to check whether there is an edge between 6 to 7 or not so before writing 7 what we do we write all 1 2 3 4 5 and we we'll check all things right so we have to check from k to k minus 1 do we have an edge or not if you have an edge what you need to check uh what we need to check a simple activity we have to do we already know each and every vertex must be visited only once that must be checked right and we have to check first of all there is an edge or not if you have an edge each vertex should be visited only once okay and we have to check for right now let us start writing this so what we do is there any edge this condition is true means what we have an edge then what you do then 
फर्म ओके फर्म जे इज इक्वल टू जे इज इक्वल टू वन टू के माइनस वन टू सो वन टू के माइनस वन टू देन वॉट वी डू वी हैव टू चेक वन टू के माइनस वन वी हैव टू चेक वॉट इफ वेरी सिंपल द वर्ट एक्स विच इज ऑलरेडी रिजिटेड मस्ट नॉट बी रिपीटेड वन सेकेंड दैट मीन्स वॉट If x of k is equals to x of j, if this condition is true, means what? The vertex is repeated. If the vertex is repeated, what you have to do? You have to break the loop. Are we clear? So how will you do? Break. Very simple. Let us see the example. Already we have traveled from one to three, three to four, four to five, five to six. Then after six, we have to travel actually to seven, but we start checking from one. One is already there. Don't do it. Then two. Two is already there. No. Like that, we have to check. It. Are we clear? But we will backtrack from two anyway. We will check three. Do we have three? No. Right? Do we have four? Yes. Already we have. Next. Do we have five? Yes. Already we have. So that is what we are checking. From x of k is equal to x of j. Whatever the vertex you are writing here, that must not be visited before. Okay, that is one, and another is first of all you should have an edge. Then it should not be visited before. If it is not visited before, then okay. So in this condition, what you are doing, you are checking is there any edge? In this condition, you are checking distinct vertex. Every vertex should be visited only once. So then what you have to check? If this condition is false, then what you check? We will simply check if uh, j is equal to k. so when this condition is true when this condition will become true very simple if the loop is successfully completed you will come out when you come out the j value will be reaches to k that means what we have checked all the vertices no vertex is repeated twice are we clear so that means what vertices are distinct then what you have to check if this condition is true then if this condition is true then now we have to check we have to go to the next but one important point is first of all we have to generate the next vertex and of course when we reach it to the last the last point is what from the last vertex you should have an edge to first vertex right so 1 3 4 5 6 7 after visiting 7 then we will go to 2 then we have to go to 1 right so from the last vertex to we have to go to 1 that we have to check so we may have in the middle or we may reach it to end so after checking this condition what we will check listen this carefully if uh, if uh, j less than n if j less than n okay so j or k k right k less than n if this condition is true means what we are in the middle okay or if k less than n or k equals to n are we clear so k less than n or k equals to n when k equals to n means what we have visited all the vertices then you have to go back okay so when this condition is true means what we have visited the last vertex of the graph okay when we have this condition is true means what we are in the middle when this condition is true we have to write one more condition that is what after visiting the last vertex you should come back to the first vertex What is the last vertex? Example one, three, four, five, six. Then after writing seven, then you will visit two. Then after two, what we have to go back? We have to go back to one. That is nothing but one. So we have to check: Do we have an edge between two to one or not? If k equal to one means what? We reach to the last one, three, four, five, six, seven. I think uh, eight also, right? And from Right. So in the previous example, we have visited one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. Then after two, what we have to check? The last vertex. We have to go back to the first vertex. So if this condition is true, means what? We have visited the last vertex of the graph. Then you have to check: Is there any edge between the last vertex to first vertex? So which is the last vertex which you have visited? This x of k. So what you need to check? If this condition is true, then you have to check. Ah, uh, g of ah uh, after condition. 
So can I write here? Right. So what we have to write? Uh, G of. Uh, so which vertex to which vertex we should have an edge? Which vertex to which vertex you have? You should have an edge. X of n to x of one. Are we clear? So x of n comma x of one not equals to zero. Okay. So this condition is true means the last vertex. And from two to one, do we have an edge? If this both the conditions are true means what? The Hamiltonian cycle will come true. Only this condition is true means what? We are in the middle of the solution. So any one of the condition is true means what we'll do? We will go back to the Hamiltonian. Then return. Are we clear? So this is a simple example for algorithm Hamiltonian. Okay. So let me conclude this algorithm once again. So we have begin with algorithm Hamiltonian. We are calling next value function. The next value algorithm. The next value algorithm will come here. So in this step, what we do? Generate the next vertex. And in this algorithm, we have to check what if we completed all the vertices means you have to go backtrack. So if this condition is true means we will backtrack. Okay. So this vertex we will do what? Generate the next vertex. And this condition will check what after writing the next vertex, do we have an edge to the next vertex or not? Okay. Then, if this condition is true, we have to check each and every vertex should be visited only once in this loop. The x of k will be compared with all the previous vertex which are visited in x of j. If any time the condition is true, means you have to break the loop and you have to come out. So, after coming out of the loop, that means what the loop is there till here, right? So that after coming out of the loop, if this condition is true means what? The loop is complete, you came out. If this condition is false means you will, regular loop will be repeated, which you have written in repeat until. Okay. So if this condition is true means you have successfully completed the loop, that means what? You found the distinct vertex. Then you have to check if k less than n means what? You are middle of the solution. If k equal to n means what? We reach to an end then the last vertex and the first vertex, do we have an edge or not? If you have an edge, then return, we will complete. Then after coming here, we have to check if we came to this algorithm using this return or using this return. If you came using this return, you have to backtrack here. Otherwise, you have to check if k is equal to n. That means what we have completed the entire solution where you have to print this 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2. Are we clear? Then we will complete. If not, what you have to do? You have to call the next vertex Hamiltonian k plus 1. Are we clear? So this is about Hamiltonian algorithm using backtracking. So all the backtracking algorithms will have a time complexity. Exponential time complexity will have that is 2 power n. Right? So we will discuss the next algorithm in next session. Thank you so much.